Hi everyone and welcome. Okay, today we're going to make an item from Thomcraft 2 called Arcane Bellows. And this item, really the only thing it does is kind of boost our Arcane Furnace and our Crucible. It kind of helps those two items uh, work better or more efficiently. So what it does is for the Arcane Furnace, you'll be able to smelt a little faster and it will give you better chances at getting double items like I said while you're smelting some type of for instance iron ore once in a while for one iron ore you might get two iron ingots so it gives you better chances at getting those double items and for the crucible it pretty much helps you have uh, it helps smelt the items that you throw in there quicker and also less taint is produced so it's a nice little item that you can build and I'll show you how to craft that. So let's get to it. Let's get to our crafting table. And let's look it up here because I already have the word arcane. So since there's a lot of arcane stuff in Thomcraft 2, let's click on arcane bellows. There it is, arcane bellows. So we need four enchanted wood, one vaporous crystal, one iron ingot, and leather. So pretty simple, very simple recipe. So let's see, I have everything ready. So we've got the enchanted wood. Let's put four of them down. I've got the vaporous crystal, I've got one piece of leather, and one iron ingot. That's it, an arcane bellows. So like I said, all it does is really boost your arcane furnace and crucible a bit. Really, it has no other function, so. Okay, so, and also, just so you know, you you can put it either next to each item, but if you have the arcane furnace underneath the crucible, then you only need one bellows next to the arcane furnace, and that'll boost your crucible and your arcane furnace. So you don't need two, really. It's only when you have them separated for some reason. Maybe you have the furnace in a different place, or you know you don't have them together, then you'll need a bellows, an arcane bellows for each item to boost them. But here, in this case, because I put the arcane furnace below the crucible, we can just put the... Okay, we could just put the the arcane bellows, whoops, I didn't mean to do that, arcane bellows right next to the furnace and it'll, it'll boost both items. So let's, uh, whoops, I'm having a bad time there controlling my jetpack. Okay, so let's put the arcane bellows over here. Let me just take the jetpack off because I might fly into the ceiling or something and let's place it down right here. Okay, it kind of looks like an accordion kind of thing, like squashing in and out like that. Weird, right? But anyway, it will boost our items. So let's try. Let's just take a look at the um, the arcane furnace. Uh, what do I have here? I have some copper ore we could put. And let us see if I have anything else over here. I don't know if I have any more. I might not have any anything else to smelt right now. Let's see what I've got in my bag. In my bag. Do I have anything? Nothing. Nothing to smelt, right? Oh, wait. I do have some tin ore. Let's throw that in. So let's put those two in for now. And let us click on... A, let's put one piece of coal in. And, you know, it seems to be a little faster. I don't really know, more or less, you know. But it's it's pretty fast, actually. Um, comparing with a normal furnace and an electric furnace, even with the um, extra boost in the electric furnace, uh, it still really helps out a lot. Uh, this is much faster, I mean. So I think that this is faster. It makes a lot less noise. Those electric furnaces, all those IC2 machines are so loud. It makes me crazy. <laughs> but anyway, this is, uh, this is working really well. And you can see... Um, now we can come over here, for instance, and we could throw something in the crucible, which I seem to always miss. Let's just throw this cobblestone. You see, I'm so bad at this. I don't know what my problem is. All right, here we go. What is up with that? Okay, let's try again. The crosshairs are more or less in the center. There we go. Crosshairs in the center. I have to remember that. Crosshairs should be centered, and then it goes in. There we go. So supposedly this arcane bellows is supposed to help in the crucible smelting this stuff a little quicker to become V and there will be less V taint in the whole process so I didn't really put this all in a good spot huh it's awfully close to the stairs but anyway for now for purposes of just kind of showing you how it works it, I mean it's okay it's working out okay let's see the crucible again let's take a look in there okay well 
it became liquid and it went into the tank directly. So, oh, now we didn't look at our V cond condenser in a while, I believe. So as you can see, the crystal is gone and it got all the V into the tank. And it's a great way from the aura or what's around you. Of course, you lose the crystal. The crystal is now depleted is what I mean. So I have two depleted crystals here, which I think I have another depleted crystal here. Yeah, I do. So let's just place this with the depleted and let's put another crystal in there, okay? Let's have that working and get some more V collected. There we go. So now it's working away. So with the aura around and hopefully, hopefully it's a full moon today, that also helps out in getting V from the V condenser. Okay, well, there you go. Let's see how we did here with our furnace. 10 copper, 16 tin. Nice. So we did okay with one piece of coal. We smelted a lot. I mean, a lot more than we would with a normal furnace. And our bellows is our bellows is working there. It's accordion style. And, and everything seems to be working smoothly right now. So I hope you like this video. Please craft your own arcane bellows. Very simple item. And I hope uh, you like the video. Please like if you do like it. And please subscribe if you want to see more. So I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks so much, everyone. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.